Okay, uh, because today I don't have much uh, to report since uh, I'm still uh, uh, busy with, let's say, re engaging uh, people. Uh, I contacted already a couple of persons um, wanted to uh, wanting to work on search engine, and uh, we need to uh, like to build up a kind of a team diagram or structure. Uh, what, uh, who, what, and uh, how, how much or how many things uh, is supposed uh, to 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 work on to prepare. And um, yesterday I uh, talked a little bit for a while uh, with Alexander Walter, and Alex proposed uh, to work uh, with Scrum, and uh, he would would like to be a Scrum master. A Scrum, Scrum master himself, so maybe we and we have him uh, today on call. So maybe Alex, can you say a couple of words about your idea? And what is great? I mean, once I have a, a list of the person's uh, commitment to the let's say to our group, we can do it. Alex, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, sure. Um, yeah, I guess I was just thinking that once we kind of know roughly where we want to get to, we should really structure this a bit more. Um, and Scrum is just a good way to do this, um, so we, we could apply it here, I guess. It will really depend, though, um, how good, how much of a structure we already have. So I've been off for the past two days, that's, that's why I don't know too much about it. I checked in with Slava yesterday. Um, so I know a little bit about the, the infrastructure side of things, um, but not so much about the, the search engine itself, actually, um, which is fine. We don't need to go into this now, but I can actually check in with um, I don't know, either you, Lukash, or yeah. I don't know, just the relevant stakeholders. Um, but yeah, I, I guess this is, this is just a tool we could then yeah. start applying. Um, that's it. So we need to kind of figure out the details. But what you just mentioned is much more important um, for now, I think, actually knowing who does what, um, who's involved, and who can commit how much time. I think that's, that's I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like a, it's a uh, cornerstone because otherwise, uh, you, you can be, you cannot be a scrum master for your own. I mean, like <laughs> you alone. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, exactly. It, it needs a team. Exactly. Uh, yeah, and that's what, what I think. I, I I want just to very at ease. One two days, maybe this weekend, and then I have a, a kind of a, an overview, more or less, uh, what the kind of uh, personal capa capacities we have, and then uh, we, can, uh, we can and implement the more that we know already what we want to do in terms of search engine, elastic search, uh, semantic search, that are things that are uh, already have been uh, discussed in detail among certain members of, of this group or, and other groups. So it's also in terms of uh, that what you mentioned, Alex, that we need to know what we are going to build. We know more or less what we're going uh, to, to build. Not, of course, there's plenty of um, small things, small details that uh, need to be taken under the loop, but in general. Cool, that's, that's great. Lucas, do you okay, have a full uh, yeah, list? Rose, Rose, Rose. I was Rose. just gonna ask, do you have a full list of tasks that what you need? Because I might be able to bring resources, but it's very hard right now to, Yes, it uh, would be graduate students. And so without knowing what I would have them do, I don't know if they have the skills or not. Yeah, uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's, thank you. I mean, like, it's, it's a very good idea. Uh, the problem is that now I'm trying to, like, what we precisely, uh, what we, uh, I mean, like, because the first step that for sure we're going to do is this search engine, elastic search plus semantic search. And then we have two or three components I have also from other groups, like uh, uh, to use topic models to, to label different uh, papers or uh, in uh, different fragments of the papers uh, in, in this, this, this whole uh, search engine mm -hmm. so that you can uh, uh, get also proposals of when you're looking for a certain uh, like you, you're looking with certain uh, keywords then you can get not only recommendations like papers or fragments of the papers but also topics that are related actually to your search query, something like that. Um, mm, yeah, and uh, actually for now to, to, to give you a detailed list of, of technical requirements, 
it's difficult for me because uh, yeah, any, anyone who can code who w will be uh, uh, eligible and uh, wanting to contribute, uh, knowing how to code or having a strong biology medicine background so that we can, for instance, uh, uh, send uh, such a person to, uh, to, to Slava to like to uh, to improve uh, kind of um, understanding between like database uh, part of the project and that this final product uh, what is actually something uh, uh, auxiliary tool for for uh, for researchers it can be also good i mean for now it's difficult to give me uh, to to produce a kind of such a kind of place mm -hmm. but in general i think every every couple of hands of even a single hand accounts so so i can provide about i can provide several people who can code their health informaticists but i will need to have a specific task for them to do yeah like they're graduate students if they're going to get any kind of credit or anything for this they we, we need to be able to say this is the task this is what they're uh, doing right and okay. so I, they can't just sort of jump in i mean maybe they can do that in a volunteer capacity but if they're going to get any credit for it that's not going to really fly. And so yeah. I guess the reason I'm bringing this up is I feel bad like I'm asking for all these additional requirements. I can, there are people who can come help do this, but we just need to know what okay. they're going to do. No, it's, it's, I, good, it's good that you name the context so that I, I can understand also as an academician that in which, let's say, in which context it, 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 it happens. Uh, and I think it's good because uh, yeah, it's in general it's a good idea so that maybe it's something uh, to generalize so that uh, it, it's something to, for the general meeting that everyone who is student or PhD student and who is contributing to this project maybe we should find a way uh, to let's say how somehow to um, uh, to recognize like to to um, uh, Maybe not to force uh, institutions to recognize uh, this effort, but still, uh, yeah, find a way to like uh, to somehow to to uh, uh, to reward uh, such an effort, like yeah. you want, uh, in the sense that you have some students, and maybe those students can also help us, but in like a kind of reward or a recognition of uh, of the effort would be just uh, some credit points. Uh, uh, yeah. And then related to that, and tell me immediately if this is not the right place for this, but there is the issue of those two other ontologies that we wanted to try get in. The and and I'm not sure how does that fit in. Who are we asking to do that? And if that's if here is not the right forum, that's fine. But Emron and I are kind of struggling to understand yeah. how do we move this forward. Uh, I mean, like uh, I'm not the right person to, to speak with about ontologies because I don't know nothing. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I just can I want to coordinate like this discussion, but uh, to answer technical questions. I, I guess it's not even that technical. It's like Brendan before did it with UMLS, and yeah. then there were two others that we wanted to try get in on top of that. And it sounded like mm. Brendan didn't think it would be that big of a deal. Kevin Lee has said he's willing to do the work. Um, yeah. I guess I just don't understand where that work fits. Is that within what you yeah. guys have done? It seems like it's related to the Elastic Search because Brandon did the work. Yes, yes. I mean, like. Uh, that in general, like uh, any kind of ontologies, if they are concurrent to each other somehow, we can fit in, in the sense that you can choose between, or you can do a kind of a mixture, or uh, making one one on the top of the another. And okay. It, if you, actually, to be honest, I mean, uh, we, you, we are going to have a couple of versions of Elasticsearch depending on your requirements. I mean, if you want to put something extra in Elasticsearch and resign from other components prepare, already prepared, like, let's say, Brandon's uh, UMLS uh, stuff, you can do it. I mean, like, you can uh, just you have different puzzle uh, pieces and you exchange them and they won't, and the whole pipeline will work for you with this type of data you want. So, so I, I guess my, my question is how, what is the process to add these other two ontologies into what Brandon has done already? And if it's uh, a question of resources, I think we can provide the resources to do that. It's just, I don't understand where it fits in. And is, is it this team or is it someplace else? Yeah, it's, I think it is this team. Okay. And I think that, that like that, uh, how you can do it, 
you can write a notebook and uh, place this notebook in the environment Slava is in pro is working on. Okay, great. So it's, yeah, I mean, like the, I, I think my understanding of the whole thing now, because it, it, what you you uh, you're talking now, about, what you're asking now about this, like the essence of this pro like of this whole environment thing, and then the whole uh, idea is. Exactly. We, you want something specific, you can write a notebook, you can reuse what you want to reuse, and you can throw away what you want to throw away, and you have your own notebook, and it says your own pipeline, uh, with your own ontologies and or mixture of ontologies. Yeah. Also, so, thank you. Hey, let me just like two, two cents here. So, uh, what is needed to be done essentially, right? We need to build this ontology, right? Or it's already available. It's, it's already or, available. We would just take the output uh -huh. of it. In the same way that Brandon took stuff from UMLS, we would just take it uh -huh. from a different source. Okay, so uh, again, it's just the question of person who has access to that ontology and just again following the footsteps. I think uh, Brandon uh, already published. Yeah, we saw that. So it just kind of do the same thing, upload it to awesome. whatever. Alaska so Kevin Lee says to... he wants to, he can, uh, he wants to do that, and he knows yeah. how okay. to do it. So okay. I will just set him off. Okay, so, so yeah, let's. Yeah, it's like, we are. Home, the question right? is, what the blockers for Kevin now? Like, why he's not doing this, right? So. Well, I think we, uh, yeah. Imran and I were confused, and we didn't want mm. to. Yeah, sure. We didn't yeah. want to derail you guys if that was a problem. So yeah. you no, just no, give it's not a problem. I, we'll go do it. Okay, no, great. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, so, it's, uh, I think, yeah, Anton. Uh, also, so, an, another point, Rose, you were mentioning about the grad students to kind of uh, when to bring them in. I think in terms of timeline, again, right now we are not there yet to just having that structure to onboard people mm -hmm. who needs this kind of report for credits but i think again mid next week we will have much better structure in terms of what tools we provide for people to kind of use right so we could tell them guys you come into us you will learn how to use you know this and this and that right so we will have this much much closer to the structure that uh, the students need to report they're to not they won't be ready until the middle of may they're going to be at end end of semester will be the middle of may and then that's when they would be ready to come on board anyway yeah so that's just, perfect ah, okay, okay. So, okay but by that time we will definitely have much better kind of tool sets to provide them and secondly also again we will much more clear like definition of scopes i think all of this like conversation last week etc were all about like essentially people got confused of scope of where where you know things go and so on uh, but right now we have again a lot of efforts for example alex with his scrum proposal it just again we will settle on specific structure so the scope will be well defined and people could kind of sync on that very well last week wasn't the right time for like let's scope discussions i guess uh so now i think we're in a, in a, in a clear pass in that regard great and, sure, and surely in terms of, of time because we have also some um uh, like delivery for cargo competition for the next round there's also some mid june uh, or july something like that i i'm not sure but even for that it it's June 16 or something like this. Yeah, that then even we will be able also to say how many weeks uh, or hours per week or something like that uh, we can credit them uh, for. I mean, like how how uh, how much time uh, they will spend on. I guess don't don't worry too much about the credit side of things. I would say just worry on defining the tasks. Oh, okay. We have predefined tasks. You don't need to worry about the credit. Okay. <laughs> we just need to know this is the task. This is what we need you to go do. Okay. Yeah. There is the structure that you would use to do it. That's but, all. But in general, it's a very good idea. I think so. So that I mean, uh, the idea that we have some graduate student or like a bachelor student uh, and who studies some bioinformatics, medicine, whatever, and uh, yeah, it's in general. How can we, as an organization, uh, how can we? Um, give them a kind of certificate, diploma or whatever, so that uh, it will be recognized by uh, their um, education institution. 
Uh, so, think, qu quick, quick question regarding this. So, Rose, are we talking about something like a summer internship type of commitment, or on a much smaller, like uh, time? I mean, I think if we can be organized, we can get people mm -hmm. to do summer internships where they will put in mm -hmm. a lot of hours. Um, but mm -hmm. I mean, I also don't want to create a whole bunch of overhead. Like, you, what you want right no, now, is like, people can this, come this, in running and just go do the job, right? This, and so, if you define the people I'm talking about, they mm -hmm. have NLP background, they know how mm -hmm. to do ontologies, they know how to program in Python. Like, if you can get give them a task, they can mm -hmm. go do it. And so yeah. I, I think it, a lot of it depends upon how much work is available and, and yeah. how, how much we can allow them independence mm. to go off and do it. The last thing you want is a, a, a hundred summer interns here who don't know how to do anything. Yes, right? and then, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Well, you want people I mean, who are skilled, this, who can run this, once you tell them what to do. Yeah, this summer internship type of thing is definitely outside of the search engine stuff, but it just the projection of that could be definitely utilized over here for for this cause we're discussing here yeah i would say limited yeah. to now to just like tell me tasks yeah we're talking about tasks like for, for search for you yeah yeah for search engine it's all about us so lucas don't think about internship certificates etc it's all about us defining the the right kind of like chain of task or you know scope okay. of work etc so yeah. then we could kind of deliver it for some maybe other team will be formed within Corona Y to deal with this uh, summer internships or whatever we call the program. Yeah, I mean, like, well, once we have a more or less, we know how many tasks, what the kind. But yeah, it's clear. I mean, thank you, Ross, for this idea because I think it's, in general, it's it's very it's very. I mean, not only interesting, but uh, let's say a very productive step it may be. Uh, okay, so there are uh, uh, other questions. Uh, Christine? Hi. Yeah, I have a question. <laughs> so uh, I just, uh, I'm, a, I'm not sure I understand. Uh, so now we have this Dataverse. We can um, basically query about data through APIs. And, uh, but we also have the Elastic search engine. Like, I don't know if they're in parallel or. Um, uh, mm -hmm. Just, mm -hmm. I think that like we have uh, Dataverse as a, we have different versions of the data, and then we can, uh, let's say, uh, an elastic search is a basic tool to, uh, you know what elastic search is. Actually, that's mm -hmm. the thing that you use also in your task, VT, yeah. to, for this first, kind of first, first type of filter. And okay. uh, it's just a tool to, uh, to uh, go through data in uh -huh. some, like in some more sophisticated way. And right. the thing that we want also to add is the semantic search, so that it's not just n-gram base on like words, but also on some, let's say, semantic uh, context, like synonyms or things that tend to be somehow similar, but they are not expressed directly in your search query. Uh, yeah. Uh, and as already uh, talk, uh, as already described, or, or explained to Rose, it's something that it's, it will be in parallel in the sense that you, you can have a, maybe a different types of elastic search with different, let's right. say, parameters with different, different characteristics with semantic search, without semantic search, with uh -huh. some uh, other tools we are going to build like uh, text summarization, things like that, or without it. Okay. Uh, so it's, it, like it's just that uh, it's ingesting the data from the dataverse? Yeah. Uh, so okay, and then it's just like a service we can use. Yeah, it's it's just, yeah actually it's a kind of services, and then you can mix up everything in your notebook depending on which kind of data you want. For instance, you want to have a, a, a simple elastic search, but it just with some subset of data that are already defined by some uh, meta uh, metadata features uh -huh. uh, that we uh, like uh, selected. Uh, we had selected uh, on early uh, stages. Uh, right. and but then with just simple elastic search with uh, any uh, additional flavors uh -huh. or just something uh, uh, just uh, something completely different like all possible elastic search options with semantic search etc right. but on the whole data set uh, v9 or v10 or v12 whatever it will be in the future okay uh, and so, so, so for example if we are 
like want to include other ontology to the to the the I mean, you know the source data? Yeah. I mean, are we uh, are we doing that from our team ourselves? Like we just um, add it to Dataverse and then because like how do we um, make it available through, for example, the the uh, index search? I mean, like technically, I we need to speak to Slava how we can. I mean, the idea is we can do it just as a. Imagine you have a Python libraries. You have uh, those libraries are installed in uh, on your computer, and you pick up those libraries you need to your uh, specific uh -huh. notebook. And it should function also with Dataverse in the sense you want specific ontologies. You load data with those specific ontologies with those specific tools we uh, with other from other notebooks, and you uh, you code your own stuff. Oh, I see. It doesn't make. Christine, do you have ontologies that you want right now? Because if Kevin is about to go do this, maybe we right, could. I, I'm also talking with Kevin. So we, oh, we great. Work, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we do have a few that seems to would be helpful for our tasks. So yeah, hopefully we can add that too. And, and exactly. And the most important, like the advantage of the whole environment is that you don't, once a certain step or certain action or certain notebook has, uh, is, uh, has been written, uh, then you don't you can reuse the results without building the same pipeline uh, over and over again. Uh, mm -hmm. So once we have, for instance, a couple of different ontologies, it's not no one from other teams can use it, and mm -hmm. no one will be forced to just to reinvent. Uh, how will say it? To reinvent uh, wheel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so. To, to just a, a few cents again. Right now we're at the spot that we're integrating different tools, etc. That's why we don't have like a nice visual to demonstrate, like where Dataverse is in the you know grand scheme of things, where the Elasticsearch is, where Idra is, where Hypothesis is, and like plenty of other tools. Mm -hmm. But like the idea that after we we kind of getting closer and closer, will be you will have a really clear diagram what is what so far right like today is what dataverse is so-called the data common this is where you store all of the data then mm -hmm. all of the other tools will be integrated the way that they take the data from dataverse you use that tool let's say to build ontologies build some code links or something and then you again dump those results again back to dataverse rinse and repeat with your research process got it and also, like when you you guys say like something is installed on the server, it just means that like the database, uh, search engine, and um, yeah, like Indra, everything it's on the same server. Yeah, I <laughs> mean like that. There, like, uh, well, I mean way. there is a term for this. It's in the cloud. Okay, oh, I see. so <laughs> uh, we're building a cloud, cloud for Corona Y. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, and actually, actually, it's two cents to this as well. Um, just to extend it, we're also planning, uh, I discussed this with Slava yesterday, to actually have a local setup of this. So basically, just a, a bunch of, well, one big Docker file, really, that replicates the setup locally. So if someone um, actually wanted to have that on their machine for development, that's, that will also be possible. Yeah, and, I mean, that, that makes a lot of sense for yeah. many of us. But still, it's like the same logic that uh, we can always like uh, exchange things that are already done without uh, this uh, this need to, to to reinventing wheels. Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, and to don't waste our time when somebody else uh, has provided already something. Yeah, and I think we really that diagram that Anton mentioned. I think it's high time for us to to have it actually, um, so that we can communicate it effectively, and it, that we can yeah, also I, talk about it intelligently, right? Because at the moment, at least, correct me if this is wrong, but it seems to me that all of this is in our heads, but it's not actually put down somewhere. Yeah, and to actually talk no, about actually, it, and criticize it. Lukas, can you show? Remember, like you had that diagram of, of stuff. I think it was already there. Yeah, I mean, uh, which one? <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole thing. Like, uh, it's not wait, about wait. not having a diagram. We have diagrams, guys. We have a lot oh, of okay. diagrams. Know. You, which kind you of diagrams? You got too many, right? 
uh, yeah, like, so. okay, just wait a minute. Uh, uh, you don't need, so you don't need to bring it up now. That it's, it's, it's fine. If it's just about me, I can take a look at I it. I mean, wait, okay. Do you see something now? Like, uh, okay. Yeah, I can, I, I can see it. I okay, mean, it's like uh, the very yeah. primitive version, but uh, of, uh, rather it's this database side of the things, but still like we have this entire data set with different levels of annotation of enrichment. Then we have different types of filters, and even those filters can have uh, branch out, uh, and then different levels of uh, analysis. And it's a rather just a, this database side, and we have also tool a tools side of of uh, the whole project where we have different uh, tools that can you merge together or combine. So yeah, more or less that. I mean, I'm not the best uh, at drawing. I mean, mm. I'm, but still, mm. uh, you you have a grasp of. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, I hadn't seen that. I'll I'll take a look at it. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we we'll stop sharing. Stop sharing because shaming. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, do you have any other questions? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, sorry. So yeah. this might be a little more downstream, but we are also looking into, for example, we use the Elasticsearch to get some training data, and now we want to annotate Wh it. Which data? Tra training data. Uh, training uh, we data. want yeah. to train like NER model, and yeah. uh, we want to have a tool to annotate those data. And I know we have someone working on hypothesis. I just wonder wh where is that tool integrated into um, the system? It's like uh, way more downstream than I think. And yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't remember who worked on this hypothesis. I, I know, I know that Slava told me about his name. Um, I, so I was, hypothesis, I, I could give you some, some insight. So currently hypothesis tool is getting integrated like our like Maxim is working on it. He's like our DevOps guy, and something is there are some issues integrating it. Just again on a just technical level because open source yada yada. But eventually we'll solve that. So in a sense, when it's ready, somebody from your team, Christine, could again start like mm -hmm. running stuff. So again, data in DataVerse. You, you pull it into hypothesis tool. Again, I haven't seen how hypothesis tool looks like, but I mean. Right. I, I think it's it more like uh, you can use it on your uh, browser. Like if you, you you have your data in the HTML format and then you can mm -hmm. use that tool to. Yeah, yeah uh, but I mean like it's, right, you do annotation and then it needs to essentially uh, send that annotation data that you just created. To, exactly. You know, mm -hmm. into data so, so, but I mean, like, so we need to like all of that web service to do all of this is getting yeah. like. I haven't heard that it's already ready to use, but I heard that it's in the process. So again, right. I, I know, I, I know that it seems to be a little um, problematic in terms of installing to the server. Yeah. And stuff. And again, like if if you have the person who can like I don't know do some local again, I it's uh -huh. hard for me to tell because I haven't played with hypothesis myself. But right. if it's like browser extension and there is some way of like let's say doing it like locally, etc. As mm -hmm. long as the data is getting saved, the results of that work is getting saved. Again, you can start using it already, and then we'll just figure out a way how to integrate all of those results, yeah. you know, in data versus well, all of whatever we're building. Right. So I, I just have an idea that since we have Kibana, the, you know, the, you know, Kibana, the one that we linked to the search engine. And uh, I know Justin was, Justin made that, right? I think we can potentially incorporate um, hypothesis into that um, sort of system. Like you pull data into Kibana and then you might be able mm. to use hypothesis from there. Yeah, there's an idea. Since it's already. Uh huh. Okay. So who who like who kind of works regarding uh, this? I'm, I'm uh, going to talk with uh, with J uh, Justin. Uh, uh -huh. Justin, okay. Justin Eden. Just Justin Edda from. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But doesn't yeah. Slava maintain the server, Elastic? So we have at this point we have a team that works there. Right. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Then clearly behind. 
Okay, forget about it. Well, well the thing is, again, like, again, <laughs> within yeah. Corona, why? if you're out for three, four days, a lot of yeah. things are changing. I figured. <laughs> no, no, uh, just uh, uh, because uh, still w regarding Elasticsearch, we're going to have like Elasticsearch for the whole document, for the sections and for sentences, because there are three la levels of the data. And I don't know which kind of data is already done with Elasticsearch that Slava has uh, on his, uh, like in his environment. Um, I yeah. think it's at a sentence level right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and it's still, we have also a kind of a, a, this whoosh thing is elastic search, but actually written purely in Python. And it uh -huh. can be easier even for some Docker, uh, Docker Kaggle notebook, uh, notebooks things, because in terms of algorithms, it's the same stuff, but uh, in pure Python. So it's, it, it, it's easier to, to work. Um, to work with it in notebooks and you have more or less probably the same results so i'm going also to uh, to install this and then uh, and as already described it will be like in parallel you have a couple of tools you can use what whatever you like oh i see we have we have a notebook with hoosh and then uh, okay yeah mm. so i can share that with you too yeah, yeah so you see so, it's, it's how it should work i mean like um that you have already some ready stuff and yeah, just... and it's connected to a, a LDA model, so yeah, maybe useful for you. I don't know. I'll just share with you. I see. Yeah. So the whole high level like idea in terms of what search engine like what we do here is we we have some infrastructure in the cloud, so you know we in a sense don't touch it, etc. But what we do here within search engine, the idea is we provide like the tools for for labs let's say build a microscope if somebody like oh you know we need a microscope we're like okay here is a microscope we will have it in our disposal or you know some like petri dishes or something and then for example uh, task ties is just like a lab with researchers that are such like oh you know what we need to do some high throughput sequencing let's spin lucas from search engine like dude mm -hmm. do we have a like a sequencer and we're like, yeah, it turns out we actually have it in the cloud. And here is the API endpoint, et cetera. And now uh, your team members within task ties become like, oh, we could already do like, let's say sequencing or something. Or we need a microscope, okay, lo local microscope in our hands. Okay, here it is. Here is the tool. You run it on your machine. And then it's the same Python notebook you use to you know, run on Google Club or something. You can run locally as well. but it hooks all of the data, all of the, like this necessary infrastructure in the cloud as well. So that's what we're working on essentially here within search engine. So right. the moment when you have this question, like, okay, so who runs hypothesis, right? Since all of this like cloud tools are this complex, like some cloud guys will run it. We, here within search engine, we will, kind of talk about it and again within your team you also will need to talk about it on the level of how do we use it what is our use case yeah so okay. that's uh, why again why it's kind of complex process but you know cloud world okay well, because we are slowly running out of time and uh, mm -hmm. i know i i i, I hope that uh, it's we it's already somehow explained in satisfactory way for uh, to you christine yeah, yeah it's, it's very clear yeah okay good uh, so no because I, I need to upload this uh, this video on YouTube and yeah I mean like it's already almost 40 minutes so but I think I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying, uh, tr uh, quite glad that we we talked uh, we have talked uh, through a couple of topics and everything is more or less positive result I mean like everyone uh, can learn uh, uh, something uh, we understand each other uh, a lot better than one week ago or two weeks ago so yeah mm. i think a lot of positive uh, feedback okay uh so uh, we we can continue anything uh, what is interesting uh, for you uh, on slack and we hear each other next time and at the same day the same time uh, thank you very much Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Lucas. Thank you, Christine, and uh, the school.